I don't need you guys, all right? You need me. Because if I really tank, it's going to feel awkward for everybody here. Really bad. Those beers, those free beers, aren't going to taste so good. I promise. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. Oh, the bathroom humor was working really well for me. Um, this is another thing that happens more in like uh, late night, Friday night bars. You ever been in a bathroom, going to the bathroom in a stall? And then there's a couple next to you having sex in the bathroom next to you or somewhere in the bathroom. And then you feel like the guilty asshole. You're like, oh, God. Oh, no. I, I, need a, I, I am so embarrassed. I, I shouldn't have been in the bathroom. This is a place of sex. And let me just tiptoe out here and, uh, ooh, sorry, sorry, embarrassing. I didn't know. This is the fucking bathroom. Why is that? Shouldn't we just be like, oh, my God, you're fucking in the bathroom? Let me watch. I mean, you want to do in public, I want to watch. Yeah, let me, I'm going to get some beers and watch the rest of this. Oh, now you're stopping. Okay, great. Yeah. It's not going to happen in this bathroom because it's about uh, yo big, but um, close my improv door here too. Um, so yeah, um, the other thing that I find confusing, and maybe you guys can help me, is the whole concept of cheating in, in cyber age, the cyber world we live in, has gotten really confusing. I had a buddy uh, from high school. He's getting divorced because he was sexy chatting with a girl from Russia. <laughs> never met her. Didn't didn't ever like have sex with her. Never even met her in person. And his wife's divorcing him. And I was like, what is cheating now? Like, for instance, I had a girl that broke up with me once because I went to a strip club, right? And she was like, what did you do? I'm like, well, I got a lap dance. She's like, you had a girl grinding up on you? I'm like, yeah, but she's wearing clothes. I'm wearing clothes. She's like, that's cheating. I was like, all right, well, like, what if, like, for instance, right, is it cheating if, like, she's wearing, like, a really padded mitten? <laughs> and she gives me a hand job, right? I don't think that's cheating. So this girl would be, right? Because she's all sensitive about it. Or, like, um, like, what if, like, what if, like, I went to, like, a Chuck E. Cheese, right? And you know those, like, those, those areas with the crane? You know, the crane that gets the toys? What if I brought the stripper from the strip club, right? We're like, oh, let's just go out. We're good friends, you know, there's nothing sexual going on. What if I got climbed in that machine, right? And she starts operating that crane, right? And kind of giving me like a little bit of a hand job. You know, feeding the dollars in, paying like everyone should, you know, not the kids, you know, no, you know, no kids are waiting in line. No one, like the kids aren't there. And then, but I'm getting a hand job of the crane and she's like coming up and it's like, and it takes like an hour and a half. Is that cheating? Is that cheating? Because I think to this girl, it would be considered cheating, right? How fucked up she is. You know, and I don't even know, I, I personally, I don't even know if I could get off on a crane hand job, to be honest. All those toys that have these weird childhood memories, you know, all the weird arcade figures dancing in the room, ugh. So I don't think it would be cheating, personally. That's my opinion. Again, editing, I'm editing this out. I don't need it. Silence. I just pumped in like the Family Ties laugh track. It's so much better than you guys right now, to be honest. You guys could really work, particularly the back row is like almost like a sleep back there. I don't know what you guys, what you guys are doing. It's, I know it's warm, maybe. Maybe that's why. Or, you know, maybe this is a terrible set of comedy. I don't know. Who, could, who would know? No one would know. Because it's going to be edited on YouTube and it's going to look amazing. And everyone's going to think you're the liar, not me. So, um, oh, this is a good, so, um, I'm very concerned about the rights of strippers and prostitutes. Are there any, first of all, are there any prostitutes? Are there any escorts? None? None? No escorts in the room? Okay, well, you could benefit from this advice if you are, and also, you're being discreet. That's probably good professionalism, but... What if every time you're with a customer as a prostitute, you videotape it? Then, you're just filming a porno, and it's 100% legal. <laughs> then you're just filming a porno, and it's 100% legal! Yeah! Oh, I just more energy. Need it? Good. We'll edit around that. Awesome, awesome. Mm, mm, mm. Whew. All right, we are going into the final stretch here. That last joke really killed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Again, I thank you for letting me be here at the Improv in Las Vegas. <laughs> um, I don't know about you guys, but um, uh, I don't like Facebook. Um, I think it's a massive waste of time. Like, for instance, 
Like the photos on Facebook, if you guys notice this, like there is no attempt to like categorize the series of photos that take place in Costa Rica or during Halloween. So I am sifting through literally hundreds and hundreds of girls' photos to get to five, maybe six photos in Costa Rica, maybe three good pictures of Halloween and the sexy kid in the kitten outfit. <laughs> it's weird, I know, because a lot of girls feel like that's might be what's going on, but they just want to hear it out loud, you know, it's like, oh no, another one. I should I'm gonna set my privacy settings a little higher. <laughs> I don't blame you. If I was a girl, I would. But I mean, I think there's a difference. You know, like in real life, right? You know, like if I go out to dinner or lunch with a friend, right, and it's a girl, and we're talking, I'm very, I'm paying attention, we're having a good time, I'm not distracted. On the internet, and we're at lunch, I can like turn the wall into pornography. <laughs> if we're at lunch, right, <laughs> and like we're on the internet, I'm on the internet, I can turn the wall into pornography. No, 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 because if you guys laugh and then I have the pumped in laughter, it's going to ruin the effect. Thank you, Todd Berger. Thank you. My, I recognize my, my lone friend laugh there. Thank you very much. Thank you, lone friend. Um, I don't like the iPod either. I think it's, um, I think that's like a really big distraction. Um, I want to invent an, an application for the iPod called um, Look Up. You're driving a fucking automobile, you asshole. Stop watching The Office while you're driving. This is true. I read this in the uh, New York Times uh, two weeks ago in the Sunday Times. That driving with the iPhone is now officially more dangerous than drinking and driving. That's true. But don't you think like don't you think we should be like our lawmakers should be doing something about this? Like don't you think that someone should be legalizing drinking and driving? <laughs> you can drive with this iPhone. I can't drive with a Heineken. <laughs> and uh, anyone you're Irish? Woo! Yeah. yeah. All right. I don't know if you're with me here, but point oh eight. <laughs> That's insulting. <laughs> I think back to my ancestors and all the the failed marriages and cirrhosis of the liver and just sacrifices they made to give me a high tolerance. And our country's gonna treat everyone equally. This sounds a little communist, doesn't it? A lot of people, parents die here of uh, alcoholism or something? What happened? I literally heard a uh -huh. I don't think I don't hear you over there, wherever you are. You're not getting a loyalty beer, that's for sure. You might be happy, you're like, good, I don't want to come back to another show, but... No, no Tecate for you. It's $15 dollars an 18 pack. that's expensive. Where the fuck was I? She really distracted me. You know? Do you remember? Right, yeah, you would remember. Like, you're the one with the name that no one remembers. <laughs> Jiggle it up, Jessica. <sighs> so, I just think it's a bit, like, communist. And I think that if we're going to have an American society where democracy fully reigns, I should go to the DMV with a case of beer, <laughs> drive around the obstacle course, each lap I crush a beer, and then when I finally crash... That's my legal limit. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay, Las Vegas, this has been an amazing night of comedy. It's been an honor to headline here with you all tonight. Up in the mezzanine, you guys are my people. Give a shout out. Oh, thank you. I've been Jeff Grace, and please welcome back to the stage, Brian. Give it up for Jeff! Yes! Yeah.